Easy peeps, and welcome back to another episode. Started from the bottom, the road to glory. Yeah. Right, there's confirmation from a previous episode that we sold Casillas and Gustavo, and we always was waiting on selling the thread, and we finally got rid of him. We lost a couple of thousand coins. So overall, we are done with the dregs from that Brazil weekend malarkey. Yeah, lost coins. Oh well. Right, today we are going to do the Sesc Fabregas Festival of Football Player. You need to assist seven goals with a Spanish player in seven separate wins in online seasons. So basically, get your Spanish person to assist a goal, then try and get the win. So we are going to start off by rocking this team. We can also try and get some goals for Kevin De Bruyne. Let me talk along the way as well. That'll do another weekly objective. We're also going to try this card, Oleg Shatov. We haven't tried him yet. We got him from the Rashford SBC, so we might as well see what he's like. Doesn't look the greatest. 76 stamina isn't amazing. Acceleration's a bit poor. We're not going to bother putting a chem style on him because I don't think we're going to be using him long term. But we might as well try these cards out. They're just sitting there. Have a look at them. And we're going to hope that this Perez card can be the person that gets, gets our assists. So what we're going to do is play the ball up to him. He's going to act like a bit of a target man. And then lay it off to De Bruyne, Hully and so forth and so on. Oh, that's a nice team, isn't it? 84 rated for that team. You know he's got a full bronze bench. So we just need to try and run him out. See what we can do. See if we can actually just get rid of his energy. Yeah, we're already 1 0 down. Oh, wow. Right, so we're 1 0 down. We're looking for Lucas to get an assist here. He does get a beautiful assist as Hullet bangs it from the outside of the box. And we go 1 1. So that's our assist. And then we just need to try and change up the formation a little bit and try and get the win if we can. And Hullet bags himself a second on the 30th minute. And we go 2 1. So we get our assist with Perez, and now we are looking for the win. Unfortunately, he's Aguero, who looks absolutely insane, by the way. That's another card we do want to try and try. Takes it to 2-2. So now we just need a goal to try and win the game, and we get one. Thanks to Ronaldo on the 49th minute, absolutely bangs it in. And then we don't stop there. We try and get ourselves another one. We push, we push, we push. And we do get another one, thanks to Ronaldo, who's come on in place of Perez to try and get the win. Now, played a few games, we had shut off. Let me tell you, he was absolutely shut off. So we're absolutely going to change the formation up a little bit. We're bringing in the lone Sane, uh, and we're gonna bring in Salah as well, and we're bringing in Farman. Right, this is what it's come down to. We are going to bring in Farman. We haven't used him this year. We've heard he's a beast. We tried a few formation ga uh, games with that formation, didn't work, took a bit too long. So now we're gonna go all out Spanish. We've still got farming in goal, but we're going to bring in Asenio, we're going to bring in Rodrigo, we're going to bring in uh, Williams on the right, and whoever that left mid is. I just try and make it a bit easier to try and get assists rather than trying to play through Perez, as it was just taking a little bit too long. So this is the first game we come up against. Now look at his team, Ronaldo, uh, Neymar and Cristiano, all of that midfield, and he has Farman in goal. How crazy is that? So is that telling you something that perhaps Farman's just the goalkeeper to pick? I don't know, man. I'm not too sure. But we are going to see if he can actually save some shots. But first, we need to try and get the Spanish assists. So we now got four or five Spanish players. Williams to Rodrigo. There we go. We get our Spanish assist. We get a goal from Rodrigo as well. And you know how much we loved his Tots card. Absolutely beautiful. Um, but we're just going to keep on trying to get the win now. And Lucas to Rodrigo. And Rodrigo gets himself another one. It's another Spanish assist and another goal from Rodrigo. Doesn't really matter much. We just want to try and get the win. So we keep on going. Try and push it. We get another one on the 39th minute to make this game 3-0 and then what we'll do is we try and chat you know swap out some of the spanish people and then we'll just try and force out and try and get more more goals if we can so he's obviously going for the spanish as well judging by the fact he's got valero and your man up front holly into rodrigo rodrigo into asenio asenio outside to william stop turn drag it back of course that's what we do outside asenio absolutely smashes one so that's our spanish assist in that one he ends up quitting out of the game he obviously wasn't happy 
He is also looks like he's going for the Spanish assist. And interestingly, he also has Farman in goal. Honestly, I didn't really notice Farman so much. But since we've put Farman in, I seem to be coming up against Farman. Is that the way it works? I'm not too sure. Anyway, next game. Williams again into Asenio again with a banger. 11 minutes gone in this one. And we do the same thing again and we get the same result as he also quits out of the game as well. Now, he hasn't got Farman this time, but interestingly, he's also got a Bundesliga keeper. He's got Neuer, and Neuer's not very good on this game. He's not a goalkeeper we will be trying, uh, but we need to do something. But Farman's doing all right, man. Farman's doing all right. I, I don't know. He's, he's stopping them. He's stopping the shots, but there's just something about having a standard gold or a rare gold keeper in your in the net it just doesn't look as nice as one of those pretty special cards does it so along the way we're getting goals with De Bruyne as well to try and knock off another weekly objective so that's one with De Bruyne and that was another assist with a Spanish player then we bring on people like Lozano to try and get more De Bruyne goals that's how we're doing that's how we're rolling that's how we're trying to cover two weekly objectives all in this space of time and we do it we absolutely do it so we get we do a long couple of these trampy little daily objectives along the way that get us a bronze pack and other trash and 50 coins and <laughs> whatever oh 800 coins in that one that was probably the best one we've had all year um, but more importantly along the way we end up doing more and more as well so we've done the Denmark versus France where you need six goals with French players we got that for that you get a two players pack we've also done the uh, 12 out of 12 of score two or more goals in 12 separate matches you get a premium goal pack for that so we've done that as well from the weekly objectives uh we have also done belgium versus england the seven goals with the belgian players we use kevin de bruyne we've done that so we get a two player pair of rather rather rare pack for that but most importantly we have done the sesc fabregas we still need two of us to do including getting three more headers from goals that's quite hard for some reason uh and but we have done the first set the shibara for you shibara he's here yeah can't speak Cesc fabregas is here not bad at all seven assists completed 90 rated festival of football card yeah it looks all right man Does, doesn't look too bad his trouble is his work rates aren't high high so he's got the the defensive and the physical and all that have kind of like a high high but because he's high medium that's a bit of a i'm not too sure his stamina doesn't really attribute to a high high so that's probably why he's a high medium his sprint speed's a bit low his balance he's just really sitting in the middle of an average card and he's false it's kind of like a false 90 rating because there's no way that's a 90 rated card so it's one of those cards where ea just go yep this is 90 we'll stick a 90 on that and then you can get an 83 rated card which probably got better stats he's quite i don't really know how it works to be honest but there we go so we open up the bronze pack and that's not bad we get a 200 and a 300 coin along the way as well so that's 300 coins for absolutely nothing that's that's not bad for a weekly objective i suppose it's better than some things where you just get a pack and you get nothing from it like this one this is one of them where we get a two players pack I and mean, look at this trash this tra this is this is disgraceful look at that not even a rare gold man <laughs> so we get a gold and a silver uh we've got a premium gold pack a jumbo gold a jumbo premium gold pack and a two gold players pack a rare one as well Ooh, let's open the premium gold pack first can we get a board no we can't get a board in that one unfortunately so unfortunately the weekend the weekly objective packs aren't really paying out oh we get a thousand coins that's a bonus attack right there we shall take that so all these little a thousand coins along the way and all these little things that we, that we get they help for the losses we made from two weeks ago from the brazil so it all kind of balances itself out that's the two rare player pack we do get a duplicate Soleimani, so we'll send him to the club, place that one on the tray pile. And then we are left with our Jumbo Premium Gold players pack from the Flash SBC. We don't get a board gutted. So that was a Flash SBC that we were saving, I think that was a couple of days ago. And we get 79 rated, brilliant. Right, but that doesn't really matter, the packs weren't really the important part of it. We now have 90 rated Sesc Fast Fabregas. I can't speak, need to put my teeth back in. Festival of Football card. Might use him for a few games. Actually, do you know what we do? We might try and do him through them squad battles and get whatever that is. I might have a look to see what that squad battles I think is. If it's only a, a really slow pack, I might not bother. But that is it for today's video. If you have stumbled across the channel or if you need any advice on what to do to get the Sesc Fabregas, hit me a follow, subscribe to the channel, and then ask me a question. It's very, very simple. 
So hit that thumbs up button, hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, hit that join button, hit that skin skin and button, get all your buttons, put them all together in a row and hit them all. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Right, that is it then. Thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.